guys, again? This is the Kitchen Fairy with another recipe vlog for indoorrecipe.com and for today's recipe, it is matcha crinkle cookies. Um, if you want to make like smaller size, drop them, drop them by teaspoon, but I make it like um, palm size, so they are like one cookie scoop. Check out the full video and I'll see you soon again. Bye! For the dry ingredients, this is one cup of um, all-purpose flour with quarter cup of green tea powder pure green tea powder with one teaspoon of baking soda a generous pinch of salt and quarter teaspoon of uh, sorry one teaspoon baking powder a generous pinch of salt and quarter teaspoon of baking soda we're just gonna mix it and set to side and over here this is quarter cup of unsalted butter with four ounce of uh, sweetened white chocolate chips we just gonna melt this in microwave so for the eggs I'm gonna be using these eggs these were my Christmas present from my co-worker Mike and his wife Bess thank you very much they have a farm in Rose Prairie and they will be open for you pick vegetables um, sometime in the future it's still winter so sometime in the future lovely lovely eggs thank you so much for the eggs and here i have three quarter cups of uh, sugar with three eggs from my friends or co-workers uh, farm and also we're gonna add butter flavoring about one teaspoon so just whisk, whisk it with your balloon whisk i lessen the butter flavoring because i want the matcha to be stronger than the butter flavoring so it's only half teaspoon and you want it to be completely combined and then we're gonna add our melted chocolate into this mixture this was microwaved for 45 seconds just mix it until completely combined and then we're gonna put it into our egg mixture like so and then we're gonna whisk this again They're completely combined before we add in our dry ingredients. And we want to mix it until completely combined. You can use the balloon whisk or spatula, it's up to you. Again, until completely combined. Now, once it's completely combined, we're gonna let it rest on counter for 10 minutes. Now, we're gonna scoop our dough or better dough. <laughs> And then roll it on regular sugar, granulated sugar. This is about a uh, half cup. After that, you're going to roll it on half cup of icing sugar to coat them. And yes, your dough is almost like batter. It's wet. Drop it and coat it. Then we're going to coat it again. On our icing sugar and then we're gonna put it on parchment line baking pan like so and now we're gonna bake it on preheated 325 Fahrenheit for 12 minutes um, halfway around you get halfway you can turn around the pan so like six minutes, turn it around for better even baking. But otherwise, if your oven is good, just keep continue cooking for 12 minutes without turning the pan around. Cool it on the pan for five minutes and move it to cooling rack.